here right now with George Sarkis, Douglas Elliman. George, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me today. Now, I've been online looking at your Instagram page. Uh, quick plug at George Sarkis. Uh, at the Sarkis team. At the Sarkis team. You have a lot of athletes going on, selling Bruins, houses, Patriots, uh, Celtics. Yep. What's going on, bud? Just the power of relationships, man. It's to the point where I've been, a, I've came across a lot of these athletes out at night having dinner, met them through some friends, been introduced to them, and just developed the relationships with them. Kind of not been too aggressive with them, and it's, it's worked out. Keeping the relationship going, explaining to them what I do in the real estate market, and how I've been able to buy property for myself and how it's excelled for me and benefited me a lot and they've trusted me. I think you're actually a real interesting story. You bought real estate at a very young age and have Correct. invested for a long time. Yeah, so it's to the point, a lot of these athletes will come, they'll get traded to a team like the Celtics or the Bruins and they're young, they don't, they don't really know, they don't have that much, they don't, they don't have a lot of guidance from people telling them to buy real estate because they're just coming across this lump sum of money. So the safe thing to do right off the bat is rent an apartment, rent a house, and to move in and get settled. However, they're throwing a lot of money out the window in my eyes. I try to tell them you should buy a piece of property now, buy a condo, pay a mortgage, rather than pay five, six, seven thousand dollars a month in rent, and you'll get that money back. Right, and especially in a city like Boston, we're very lucky to live Absolutely. where we live. Uh, and we've, over time, had a lot of appreciation. Not all markets are like that. Boston is, is a special place, real estate -wise. I'd say it's a safe market. Um, I've, when I, I bought my first property when I was 19 years old, and I bought it back in 2007 in the north end of Boston, and I, I bought it at a fair price. 2008, 2009 hit, market went down a little bit, but I weathered the storm. Fast forward 10 years later to 2019 today, my property has appreciated significantly. So I think that that was a great move for me. It's, I still have not sold a piece of property in Boston. And I tell a lot of these guys that come here, when uh, the athletes that move to Boston or get traded here, that if you can't sell for a profit the time you get traded, because no one ever stays, very rare that, it's, that a player stays with the same franchise his whole career, I say, listen, if you get traded or you don't get re-signed, we can always rent your property, cover the mortgage. When it's the right time to sell, we sell it, you make your money, and you move on. Right. And even keeping it as an investment property is a great option as well, I'm for, sure. For sure. A lot of these guys are thinking short-term and just their spot, but post-career, it wouldn't be nice to have a little real estate portfolio. 100%. You don't play professional sports your whole life. so. A great example is one of my best friends, Kelly Olenek, former Boston Celtic player, now signed with the Miami Heat. Kelly bought his property from me um, his second year in the league, and he bought a property in Charlestown in the Navy Yard, Constellation Wharf. He paid about $1.3 million for it, and we have it listed right now at $1.599. So he had, a, he had it rented for the two years before, where he was getting great rental income, covering his expenses plus some, and now he wants to sell it to potentially buy something in Miami. Now, uh, getting back to the agent side, you've had a lot of success. Haven't been selling real estate for that long. For the agent that's just getting going, uh, what would be your advice to them in regards to getting their real estate career off the ground? So you want me to give out all my secrets is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so what I, what I would say is to just keep grinding. I mean, no agent does it the right way. Everyone has their own way of doing things. And if you take the top 10 brokers in the country, they all do it differently. So I would just say, be consistent with what you're doing. If one thing isn't working, try something else and just follow up. I mean, the more people you know, the more people you meet, the more persistence you, the more persistency you have, the better you're gonna be in any kind of business, in any sales pitch. Before I let you go, where do you see the Boston market going through 2019? I think we're, I think we're going up. I mean, there's, there's no more land. We, our city's not very big, and they're going up right now. So you, every, every time you look at the city skyline, you see something else popping up. And when the city prices get high, that means the suburb prices are gonna, get, are gonna fluctuate as well. So I think we're undervalued and we're gonna keep going up. 
Love the prediction. And if you'd like to connect with George and his team over at Douglas Elliman, you can check out his website, thesarkisteambos.com. And remember to follow us below, and we have more tips just like this right here on boston.com. Thank you.